Hey church, don't forget March the 3rd. That's not 3rd. March the 3rd, we are going to be having our congregational meeting. We really are going to have it this time. I know we canceled the last one, uh, but this is going to happen. March the 3rd, and there's actually two sort of new things happening. So make sure that you um, listen to what I'm going to say here because it's very, very important. One is we're going to be changing the way you get your ballots to actually vote on what we're going to be voting on at the congregational meeting. And uh, the way we're going to do that is we'll have some tables set around. You'll go by last name to get that, but you have to be a member of our church, just like always, in order to vote. Um, so your name's going to be on that list. So if you're wondering, man, I hope my name's on that list, or you just kind of want to help us out, which we're asking for your help, uh, to make sure we got everybody logged in right, have a member next to your name, you can come to this Connection Center and uh, let, just let them know what your last name is. They're going to look you up on this list and be able to tell you, yep, we have you down um, as a member. That would really help us out. We try to get everybody plugged into the system, but obviously you can miss people here and there, and we don't want to do that. So please, everybody, at some point, stop by the Connection Center and say, hey, just check and see if my name's on the list as being a member because I'm supposed to be. Um, and so if you're not, we'll write your name down and we will make sure we get everything put in the system. But once we have your name in the list, um, then that at the congregational meeting on May the 3rd, you'll show up, you'll be able to get your ballot and we'll start the congregational meeting. And we're actually going to be voting on a bylaw change. Um, we'll explain more about what that change is and, and what it looks like. Matter of fact, you can come to this Connection Center. We'll have a piece of paper there. And on that piece of paper, it's going to explain to you exactly what the bylaw change is being proposed from the eldership, um, as well as a little bit of a description um, about the whole ballot change and, and how to go about that if you'd like to do it on your own. If you'd like to go into our uh, software program and change it yourself, it'll have some uh, a link there that you can see also. So please make sure you stop by, grab that information, be ready to go on March the 3rd uh, for our congregational meeting. Hey, I want to share some opportunities that we have coming up. The first is a class that we call Understanding First Christian. It's for those of you who aren't members of the church, who are thinking about membership, or for those of you who've been coming here a while and you're interested in knowing more about FCC. We teach about our beliefs, we teach about our ministries, get to know you a little bit, give you an opportunity to get to know us as a church. These classes are for three weeks, they're on Wednesday nights, and they start February 27th. If you're interested, we do ask that you sign up. You can do that through your FCC app. You can do it by clicking on connect and then sign up, or you can sign up for these classes at the Connection Center after the service. The next thing I wanna share with you is our Married Couples Life Group. They're starting a new series. This is Micah and Aaron Myers. They meet on Sunday nights at their home, and they'll be meeting February 24th, Sunday night at five o'clock. You can find more information in your bulletin. And then lastly, Jim C's Life Group. They meet at Java Cafe on Monday nights. They invite you to join them. If you're not a part of a life group already, watch this trailer and you'll hear a little bit about the new series that they're starting this next Monday night, tomorrow night. Who needs God? Who needs God? And do we really need God? For some people, the question isn't really, you know, do we need God or who needs God? For a lot of people, the real, the real question is, do we need religion? You know, who needs religion? And more Americans than ever are giving up on or backing away from religion. They disconnect from religion, they disconnect from God because they just don't need it. And it's not because they have found atheism so appealing, it's because they have found religion or the God of their childhood so unappealing. It's not because they've investigated the truths around or the teachings around atheism as much as they've just disconnected from something they just don't feel like they need anymore that doesn't even seem real anymore. And one more thing, we just wanted to say thank you to everyone who is helping out with the fair yesterday and the rest of this week. A reminder that there is no Wednesday night services because of the fair, uh, so we hope to see you there. There's plenty of opportunities for you to get plugged in, and we hope that you take advantage of those opportunities. But right now, let's continue our morning in worship. 